representing the Director of Medical Services, Dr. Jackson Kiyoko, NASCOP Director Martin Serengo, Dr. Martin Serengo, Ambassador Solomon Caranjo, Chair of the KEMSA Board, KEMSA CEO, Dr. John Wunya, KEMSA Kemonic Senior Vice President for East Africa, Emmett Moore, and Dr. Uh, Ruth Njoye, and the entire Kenya Pharma team, distinguished guests, ladies and, and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, one of the drawbacks of being honored by being a later speaker is, uh, is, is, is much of the good stuff has been said. But I have some remarks that uh, will remind you a little bit of some of the presentation that, that Ruth made earlier, and that's never a bad thing. I'm pleased to be here for the handover of one of the largest PEPFAR and USAID supported programs in East Africa, the Kenya Pharma Project, to the government of Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA. The transition is a realization of USAID's global health strategy of utilizing host country mechanisms to foster country leadership and ownership for long-term sustainability. USAID has been working with the government of Kenya for more than 50 years. Our efforts have contributed to significant progress, especially in the area of HIV AIDS, family planning, health sector reforms, and commodity security. As you've heard, in July 2009, USAID, with PEPFAR funding, established Kenya Pharma, a five-year project, to establish and operate a safe, secure, reliable, and sustainable supply chain management system to forecast, quantify, procure, store, and distribute pharmaceuticals, supplies, and equipment needed to provide care and treatment of persons with HIV and AIDS in Kenya. The activity's fifth year target was to reach 360,000 patients with antiretrovirals and 750,000 patients with drugs to prevent or treat opportunistic infections. As you've seen, I'm happy to reinforce the Kenya Pharma Project exceeded both of those targets. The USG, through PEPFAR and USAID, committed to improving supply chain logistics across Kenya. We did so in the early days of PEPFAR, as the country was just beginning to significantly scale up treatment. We did this because we knew Kenyan and PEPFAR goals could not be achieved without an uninterrupted supply of key commodities. Kenya Pharma succeeded in these areas. I'm pleased to say that to date, Kenya has not experienced a stock out of antiretrovirals in Kenya. That's a very significant achievement, and I hope let's, let's clap for it. <laughs> Chemonix, through the Kenya Pharma contract, brought several innovations, as you've been hearing this morning. ISO certification of its processes, development of both a quality management system and its electronic supply chain management system. It also achieved a field support service model to help get commodities procured to the right people when they needed them. Kenya Pharma has also supported the Kenyan Pharmaceutical Quality Control Laboratories, procurement of state-of-the-art equipment and performance management. There was some very cool stuff when I went and visited it a few a month ago or so. This effort contributes, of course, to the fight against counterfeit and substandard medicines, which is very, very key. Kenya Pharma also has played an important role in the annual quantification exercise where national commodity needs are forecasted for the coming year. Without a well-developed forecast, it's easy to spend money on unneeded commodities while not carrying enough stock of necessary supplies. To sustain the gains made by Kenya Pharma, USAID extended the activity for 15 months to facilitate a smooth handover to KEMSA. During this period, again, as we've been discussing, Kenya Pharma's worked very closely with the two principal transition partners, NASCOP and KEMSA. We've shared lessons learned and best practices, to facilitate a seamless transfer of HIV supply chain coordination and implementation responsibilities. NASCOP and KENSA have taken up the leadership processes and managing the system, including distribution of commodities to sites. In fact, KEMSA, again, as we've heard, has been distributing all HIV treatment commodities in the country since April 2015. Today's handover confirms USAID and the U.S. government's confidence in the future management of supply chain activities in Kenya. The U.S. government is committed to working with the Kenyan government at the national and county levels through NASCOP, KEMSA, and local governments to build on the gains achieved from the Kenya Pharma activity. 
Given the strong groundwork work laid over the past 15 months, and indeed over the course of the Kenya farmer activity, I have no doubt we have a healthy supply chain here in Kenya. Allow me to express my sincere gratitude to Commonics International, the organization that has been managing Kenya Pharma with its partners, establishing, overseeing, and handing over a successful activity. Congratulations. <laughs> USA continues to look forward to our ongoing work where we are closely working with the transition partners, Kemsa and NASCOP, Kemsa and NASCOP in support of the supply chain needs of all Kenyans. Thank you.